What would you rate? If you get Amrabat in, you get Gukurea in, what would you rate your window out of 10? Still, because we bought me some mount and that take, that's a minus four. You know, like that. So, <laughs> I already know, bro. So, you talk Man United being cheap, bro. Like, man said talks between Fiorentina are set to continue. Fiorentina prefer a permanent sale with a loan with an obligation. And they value the play at 35 million euros. So that's exactly what Man United are going to do, bro. Their man are going to try to do it alone. Alone with a um, a loan with an option to buy a thing. And then the option to buy is going to be is gonna be less, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? And Man United are definitely going to try to get him on a loan thing. Try and get a left back on a loan thing. Do you know what I mean? You're trying to get Kukurea or something, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Get um, Kukurea on a loan thing and then probably sign another player as well, blood. This is what United are doing, bro, right now, bro. Like, they understand, yeah, what kind of market we're in, bro. Do you know what I mean? And they're just trying to be as cheap as possible, bro. Like, they'll get the deals done before the window closes. That's all I care about. I don't care about how the deals get done. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't really Who's care. support from Kukurea? I'll take him all day, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you get if you can get him like the level he was at Brighton, it's a good buy. 100%. But exactly, and also it's a loan deal, so it doesn't really matter. You know, like that, it doesn't really matter. Do you know what I'm saying? Because like, look at that. It's like, bro, we just we just selling Dean Henderson, yeah, and it's like, bro, whether we get players on loan or we pay for them, bro, as long as they get through the door, I do not care, bruv. You know, I don't care, bro. Whether you got your Lambo here yeah, on finance or you paid for it outright, it don't matter. As long as you get to drive off the lot with that. You, that's as long all as you that got a Lambo. That's, all that's that it. So if I get Amrabat and I get Kukurea, bro, I don't care whether it's a loan with like an option to buy or whether it's a straight this or straight that or 10 in storm. Bro, I don't care. As long as them man are holding the scarf, bro, do you think I care? Like, it's really not about that. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just one of them ones where you got to understand the club's in the middle of a sale. I've said this a million times. It's like, if you're selling your house, yeah, there's only so much um, improvement you're going to make to the to the house because it's like, why would you? Do you know what I'm saying? Or why it would becomes you? a bit of a, like, why am I going to do that to better someone else? But exactly. Like, it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Why am I going to spend my own money to fix up the yard that I'm selling anyway, bruv. Like, my will leave it is your problem. So, it's not that United don't have the money. It's just that the Glazers don't really want to invest any more money into something. Because if when they invest that money, they're not getting that money back. So, it actually doesn't make sense for them. But to think that United don't have money is, is absurd. Do you know what I mean? It's actually absurd. So, like, it, it is what it is, really. Yeah. What would you rate if you get Amrabat in, you get Gukurea in? What would you rate your window out of ten? Still, because we bought me some mount and that take that's a minus four. You know, like that. So <laughs> I already know, bro. I'll be real. It's a minus four getting me some mount in because me some mount takes away from everything that we've done because that was sixty five million. Yeah. Like, bro, we could have bought. Um, we could have bought Amrabat. And someone right, else, yeah. Could have had Amrabat and Graven Birch. Well, there you go. For how much Mason Mount costs, bro. You understand? So, because of that, bro, like, Mason Mount is, nah, he's done at it. He's done at it. Like, I, I don't know if I can forgive the manager for that signing because he's a problem now that we'll never be able to get rid of. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's English. He's where's the number seven. And he's on, what, 250k or something like that. We are not going to be able to get rid of this guy. He's here forever now. Strap he's here in. forever now. He's part of the furniture. He's going to be one of them English players now that just keep getting contracts at Man United because they're English, just like Phil Jones was, just like Luke Shaw was. He's part of the furniture now. He's going to get a testimonial here. He's, like, we're done. The Mason Mount thing is, is, is horrendous. He's one of those players where... As soon as you get him, he's not going anywhere anytime soon. Same as Davis, mm. same as Dyer. He'll buy into the club's PR. They'll give him a new contract. You know, only serious football clubs like Man City get rid of their players quickly. It's a big game, but it's so early in the season. Do you know what I mean? Like the return leg at Argaf 
later on in the season. That's the big one because we can stop them from winning the title. You know, like that. That's They've what I'm thinking. Well. They've got us as well in that same month. Yeah. So, yeah, it's one of them ones where as much as I'm not looking forward to this game against Arsenal, I kind of am because they're not playing well either, in it, And we tend to activate the bozo gene in Arsenal. So you never know what could happen. Do you reckon you'll win? Not win, bro. I just I'll be happy with a point, mate. Is it, bro? If we don't lose, I'll be happy. Do you know what I mean? Like that's it. If we don't lose, if we take a point from them at at their gaff, like Fulham took a point from them, bro. Hey, stressful mania for them. Oh, 100%. they're meant to, they're meant to be in a title error. charge, mate. Like we're not in a title charge. We are never gonna win the league. So if man could take some points from these man, yeah, I'm happy enough. Who have City got? three points it doesn't matter does it really <laughs> yeah you know I mean? big up john for the super chat i'm about bruno and cass bruv that'll be a great midfield free um if we can get it done in it i prefer ericsson for bruno but listen like you can't have it all in it so it is what it is bruv um who right, have they, got, they got fulham there you go see you're gonna fist them up bro you know what i mean fist them up the way arsenal couldn't bruv that's exactly what it's or, or, be. or tottenham we can do it either You know, I, I actually think they could win their first 19 games. Nah, listen. Nah, I'll be listen, honest. Bruv, they lost to Brentford last season, didn't it? City are bound to lose a game no one expected. Yeah, but they've got, they've got a run where Fulham, West Ham, Forest, Wolves, they'll beat Arsenal because they always do. Brighton, United. Uh, that's, the, that's the one. That's the one out of their first. They'll beat Chelsea. They'll beat Liverpool. They'll beat Villa. They'll spank mm. us like the Yeti had. And they'll spank Luton. The only one I'm yeah. a bit like is 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 Man United. I genuinely, that they their next four games they could score twenty goals. They probably <laughs> Nottingham will. Forest, Nottingham Forest, Wolves, Man City, and Fulham. They generally could score twenty goals in the next five games. <laughs> they could, but bro, as long as they win, I don't think they they will actually care how many goals they score, bro. Like Man City are just. You know what it is with Man City? Man City are, in a weird way, yeah, they're just finding their rhythm and they're winning whilst doing that. Do you know what I mean? Like, City don't tend to kind of find their gear till, like, after Christmas, bruv. Not really. Do you know what I mean? And that's frightening. Yeah, the business end of the season. Yeah, like, that's frightening. So, yeah, bro, I can't lie, bro. I'm not, I'm not happy with what we're doing compared to what City are doing, bruv. And the fact that they've just, Chelsea have given City 45 million. They didn't need any help. City are going to go and reinvest that because there's no reason for City to hold on to the 45 million, yeah, and not spend it, bro. Do you know what I mean? Because they've had departures anyway. And the fact they're letting Cole Palmer go and Cole Palmer was coming on and you see their bench full of youngsters, City are going to bring in someone else. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. In the, next, in the next... There'll be someone good day, as well. In the next day or so, Man United... Oh, sorry, man. You know, Man City will go out and 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 get a winger. You watch. Yep, and it'll be a good one as well. Better than Cole Palmer because you can get way better than Cole Palmer for forty five million. I, I I can't lie, bro. I listen. If we end up getting yeah, that Kukurea and Amrabat both on loan. Decent business. I can't lie, bro. Like spending no money and getting them both in. Hey, I'll take it. You know what I mean? I'll take it, mate. You know what I mean? And that means we still got money to go spend on someone else because we will let Donny van der Beek go. And um, who else is still going to go out? Now, the keeper's gone now. Um, is Maguire going? It looks like Maguire's trying to hang in there, bro. It's like almost like he's hiding. He wants us to forget he's still at the club, bruv. You know, like that. He wants us <laughs> to forget, fam. He's going to do what Phil Jones did and just, just chill in the back, back of, backstage. Yeah, bro. Man, just hiding until the window's shut. Then he's going to come out because... I don't know. With the Harry Maguire situation, we want rid of him. He can't find anyone to take his wages. So, like... West Ham pulled out. Yeah. Pulled out of the race, didn't they? Yeah, so a sale's not looking likely unless we can get him loaned out. But it's like no one wants to take his wages. His wages, even if we paid half of it. The wages is the biggest stumbling block. He doesn't want to take a pay cut. So maybe a loan move for Harry Maguire might be the best for all parties, which means we would still pay some of the... Um, yeah, pay some of the wages. Man said Donny's going on loan. But yeah, that means, yeah, but we'll still get a loan fee for him. 
know what I mean? So even if we say we get six million for Donny van der Beek or something like that, bro, that's fine. And then we'll just spend that six months. Six I'll take Donny van der Beek. Yeah, yeah bro, bro, you could use him. You could use him. I think he'd do all right in your system as well. He, yeah, in, in a possession based kind of what he's used to, I think he'd, he'd cook. He might not necessarily start, necessarily start game in, game out, but I'd rather him coming off the bench than flipping. Oh, man, watching Hoiberg and, and and who do we have last night? Hoiberg and Skip is worse than Suzuko and Winks. Like that. Ho, Ho, I mean, you yeah, look like Hoiberg I, is trash, bruv. Like, I can't believe you're looking at him, isn't you? him. <laughs> bruv, listen, I ain't. My manager is apparently, bruv. I ain't looking at Hoiberg, bruv. His talent ID. When it comes to transfers, it's a bit booky, isn't it? Like, what? <laughs> a bit. Bro, like, honestly, I want to fight my manager over the Huyberg thing, bro. Because Huyberg, yeah, is one of my least favourite Spurs players. I've always said this guy's a bum. Like, always. Do you know what I mean? So, the fact that we've been linked with him, yeah, like, it would be a nightmare situation for me. 